So now I've taken an area off of our uh, top layer of paper, leaving the back, backing paper on. In between filming and now took 10 minutes. So say 20 minutes for this section of wall to get this top off over a complete wall, an hour. This is worst case to take the top off. It'd take you an hour. Sometimes you can get this top off in minutes, in big strips. You could, before you do anything, try a test patch of water to see if the water goes through and you can lift both your papers off. But it's very rare because nearly all wallpapers now have some sort of protective glaze. The, the water, just water on its own, won't permeate this top layer, but it will the backing. So now we've got our, our backing off. You can use a sponge, a cloth or a brush. Just be wary of electric. So we've got an electric socket here with a light plugged in. Don't go any near, anywhere near that with lots of water. That's obviously um, self-explanatory and, and something that you would all know, but I feel I just should say, be careful with electrics with your water. But what you want to do then is soak an area. I use a brush, it's a little less messy. On a bigger wall, I might well use a, a roller, a nine inch roller just to put water on, but soak an area of wall. And all backing paper, you'll see this effect where it goes where the water goes in and the wall goes dark. So we've soaked an area. I'd suggest soaking an area about this size in one go. Don't go right across the whole wall because by the time you get back to the start, it'll be dried again. It literally takes minutes to dry on this paper. But it's very porous. So you probably need to give it two soaks and it's just time. It's not that labor intensive. It just, you have to have a bit of patience. So you'd be soaking this area two or three times, as many times as it takes, and then you just give it a couple of minutes. I'm not gonna start stripping now, it'll be pointless. This is where you use your stripping knife. So we've used our filling knife to get under this top layer, exposing the backing paper, which is porous, which will take water in, and which will come off now with, with this knife. So again, you just have to wait. Give it a little go, not quite ready. Don't make hard work for, hard work for yourself. If it's not coming off easy, don't bother, really don't bother. Just give it another couple of minutes, but you'll see in time, this backing will start coming off at the moment. No, not happy with that. I'm not gonna make it hard for myself. I want it to be nice and easy, a bit more water on. You can put a bit of plastic down here. If you feel like you wanna make um, as little mess as possible, you can wrap the plastic up with your paper in it. Stops any water getting through onto your carpet. I'll just put a dust sheet down for now. I'm not going to go too mad, this is just a test patch we're doing. Another soak. So this is in real time, that's been soaking maybe two minutes. I'd recommend maybe three or four minutes and you'll find it'll start coming off easy. When it comes off, it will come off literally in great big sheets once the paste has been activated. Or they deactivated because it loses its adhesion, put water with it and diluted it, this backing paper will start coming off really easily. It's still a little bit stiff, so again, I would just give it a couple of minutes. I don't want to do that because I'm trying to show you what to do. So you find with your stripping knife, this backing paper will come off and when you soak it long enough, your knife will just run through it really easy. And you won't do any damage to the wall underneath. 